Hello children, we are once again back with our new video class that is of English course. This is chapter number 8 and we are going to start this chapter in this video. So children, uh, as you can see I have written something on the board. This is a question, who has seen the wind? Do you have the answer of this question? Yes. Okay. So, uh, I think you must, you all must be giving the answers uh, while seeing the video. So, let me just clear it out that who has seen the wind? Who has seen the wind? We all, obviously, we all see the wind. But can we touch the wind? No. We can feel the wind. Where do these winds come from? The winds, they come from air. Isn't it? So, this lesson, this question, who has seen the wind, is a question which is to be asked from everyone. And we all have the same answer. We all see the wind in the form of blowing. How in the form of blowing? We see the things, they start trembling. We see the leaves, we see the trees. When we have a strong wind, the leaves and the trees, they start trembling a lot. So, then we come to know that yes, the wind is there. And obviously, when we feel hot, we feel relief when we have some wind which pass through us. So, wind, if you talk, we cannot see it completely in its original appearance. We see the wind in the form of other objects. When it affects the other object, we start feeling, we start seeing the wind. And we see, yes, the wind is blowing. So this poem is about the same content which I explained just now. So let's go through the stanza of the poem. Who has seen the wind? Neither I nor you. But when the leaves hang trembling, the wind is passing through. Now here the poet says, who has seen the wind? Neither I nor you. In the first line he says that we both have not seen the wind. But obviously we can see it, we can feel it when we see the leaves start trembling. When the leaves start shaking. Then we feel and then we understand that yes, the wind is passing through. Who has seen the wind? Neither you nor I. But when the trees bow down their heads, the wind is passing by. Again, the poet, he is explaining the same thing that the wind, is, can, the wind cannot be seen by us until and unless we see the leaves when the trees, when the huge wind blows, when the storm comes, the trees starts bowing down their head. So this shows that the wind can be felt only by the presence of other objects when it affects them. It cannot be seen by itself. It cannot be felt in its original or we can say in its alone form. Okay. So this is what, this is a very short poem which we have completed and I hope the poem must have been clear to you all. Now it's time to write some difficult words but as we know chapter is very small, obviously we'll be having some difficult words only. So now let's get ready and start writing the difficult words of this poem. Open your copy and start. We'll give the heading as difficult words. The first word is neither. Second word is trembling. Trembling and neither. Both word meanings are given in the word body. Neither means not one or the other of two things. And trembling means shaking. Third word is passing. 
passing means going through, crossing through. Fourth is bow, b o w bow. Now bow has two meanings. One bow is the one which we use with the arrow to hit something. That is also one bow, and this bow is bent over. Bending over means like this. When we do like this, this is called bowing and this is bow. So these are the difficult words. Only four difficult words are there which you need to copy down in your copy. And your homework will be to repeat it two times and learn it. Repeat two times and learn also. So with this, I come to the end of this video. We'll be meeting again in my next video in the new topic. Till then, complete your work. Have a good day.